California grows 90% of the nation's strawberries, and we serve that industry by doing research and educational opportunities that assist the industry with whatever issues they might be having. This is the first year in two years that we've been able to meet in person. So growers are really excited to be here and to engage with each other outdoors, face to face, and they're excited for that opportunity. The entomology stop featured work on two-spotted spider mite and ligus bug. That research is designed to help us farm strawberries more sustainably and still manage those pests. For example, two-spotted spider mites are managed with predatory mites. These are mites that are used to feed on the bad mites. We have the good mites that are, that are preying on the bad mites. So there's a whole science behind those predatory mites. What are their preferences? How do they work best? And we're trying to maximize the benefit of the predatory mites against the pest mites. Those two pests are really big pests for uh, California strawberries and they cause hundreds of millions of dollars in damage every year. So growers are really interested in the research that we're doing on those two pests. This is a really important disease in strawberries. Every time it gets wet, every time we have high moisture, especially along the coast where we get the marine layer, that fog, that dew, that rainfall that we get each year causes the fruit to rot. When the fruit rot, growers want to do something about it. And so we evaluate every year chemical and biological pest management practices that control botrytis gray mold. It's a really important disease and every year we present those results to the growers. We're also looking at powdery mildew, which is also a really important disease on, on strawberries. And we have research results on a lot of new products that are out there for controlling powdery mildew. I think we're offering the growers some new solutions that they'll be able to use. At our soil borne disease stop, we're talking about two really important diseases, verticillium wilt and macrophomina crown rot. These are two soil borne fungi that rot the roots and cause the plants to die. And we, are, we have fewer and fewer mechanisms to control that, those two diseases. So one of the things that we're doing is evaluating different varieties of strawberries for how well they hold up under these conditions. We've been doing this for several years and we have some really interesting results this year because it's been a cooler year and when it's cooler we have less of those diseases. We've also noticed that our irrigation practices affect these diseases dramatically. So in the case of verticillium wilt, for example, there was much more of it this year. In the case of macrophomina, we had much less of it. And so those results are going to be really interesting. And when we pair that with previous years, those, those are great results. And so every year things are a little bit different. No year is the same, especially when it comes to weather. So those two diseases really threaten the industry. And we think that by evaluating these different varieties, we, we're giving the growers real solutions. The bug vacuum has been used in the strawberry industry for many years, but now we're optimizing it. The bug vacuum is a way of managing ligus bug without the use of chemicals. All it does is, is vacuum up, it's a, it's a big vacuum hook to a tractor, and it sucks up the ligus bug, and as it does so, it kills the ligus. So this is one non-chemical means of controlling ligus bug, and we have several new designs. Another exciting stop featured at the field day is an automation stop dealing with the control of powdery mildew, one of the important diseases of strawberries, uh, the fruit and the foliage. What this is, is an unmanned vehicle. It travels at night in the field. It goes through the field and treats the plants with UVC. This is a different spectrum of UV light that will kill powdery mildew at night. Powdery mildew is more susceptible to this at night. Research has shown in other parts of the country like uh, New York and Florida that this treatment is effective. We're trying it here uh, now, not for the first time, but it, we're, we're, we're trying it. We're, we're, we're gaining momentum with others to show that this, that this can work and our growers, you know, everybody wants to see it and so we're, we're trying it out for the first time. We have the robot here our field day attendees can see it, they can talk to the experts. That's an, another really exciting stop.